All right. So we are back live again with the Experiences Connect. Welcome back, everyone. Um, I'm very much looking forward to this session, which is about the connected region, how DMOs can drive the dig digitization of tools and activities. Um, and also, we want to bring across some insights if you are operating a tour, a museum, and so on. Just how could you connect more with your destination that you are in? How could you fully make use of this um, network which you have um, locally? So, and with me, I have two guests. I have Sabine from the ITB Berlin, who is a senior product manager at ITB Berlin and who is also in charge of the segment for tours, activities, attractions. So a great fit for this round here. So welcome, Sabine. Thank you for having us. Thanks for joining. Plus, um, we have Tamuna with us, who is representing Georgia and the Georgian National Tourism Administration. And she is the first deputy head there. So also welcome, Tamuna. Hello, and thank you for this opportunity. Great having you here. So, the connected region, that's our topic today. And we will start um, with talking about the upcoming ITB Berlin. Why is that interesting? That's interesting for many reasons, of course. Um, but it's also interesting because the ITB Berlin is the most important, uh, at least like from how I see it, the most important tourism fair has not taken place in the last three years, at least not in an on-site setting. There were some digital settings, but not in an on-site setting. So um, we're just going to a quick um, Q&A, basically, um, with, uh, with Sabine. Yeah. Um, before we do that, I forgot one thing. There is a poll that is starting now. So in parallel, everyone who is here, please already go ahead and answer that poll, which is about um, the question, if you are already working with a destination marketing organization, or you can also answer yes, if you are like in some shape or form connected with your destination and making use of the distribution power there. So, and with that, I'm going to the... Uh, um, like Q&A with Sabine. So, Sabine, the ITB has not taken part on site in the last three years. Now yes. it does. What has changed since 2019? I heard there are quite some big yeah, that, changes. That's a tough one to answer. Um, not not um, extending my five minutes, but <laughs> I will I will focus maybe putting it around our new model. Our uh, motto is open for change, and not not only tourism industry has to change. Uh, so did ITB. And the first thing we changed, we adapted our concept. We will be a B2B event only, focusing on trade um, and taking place from the 7th to the 9th. So uh, we are starting on a Tuesday and not as traditionally on a Wednesday. So maybe everybody checking our ske your schedule. So we're starting on Tuesday, taking place for three days, focusing on, um, on trade visitors. Um, but of course, we have not forgotten about the, about the public. Uh, we do have a B2C event. We call it Berlin Travel Festival in November. And um, the second thing I would point out is uh, we are focusing even more on media. So we're going to have a complete media Monday, um, starting with our um, traditional opening press conference, where the Georgia, our partner country with here together with me today, um, is, is part of. And after that, we um, do have the floor for our exhibitors. Selected exhibitors will present their news. And the, the third thing I would like to point out is we have new, more products focusing because it's always, always hard to find a, you know, spot to sit at ITB. We're focusing on networking, business um, and, and um, content. So we will do have uh, networking spots all over the venue. We call them the business satellites. We have networking tables you can book. Uh, we do have a hybrid studio where you can present your product to the world and stream it online, but also have it on site. So that's the th three things I would point out. All right, big changes, because for me always also end customers, tourists yeah. walking around, yeah. the part of ITB. So uh, quite a big shift here. 
Um, and I mean, we already talked about it obviously beforehand, but maybe do you want to share like what the uh, the benefits are of this new concept um, which you can share? Um, we, we actually, we picked up our customers' wishes, which we felt in the last year was for us to actually to sharpen the concept, right? To actually focus on one target group. That's why we decided uh, to, to split those two um two segments um, to have really on ITB only. It's only about business. It's about networking. So we, we um, and with the products I just mentioned, we're going we're gonna to sharpen that. More business, public next year or actually this year in November at the Berlin Travel Festival, whoever who wants to reach out to Berlin and Brandenburg uh, tourists. All right. So 7th to 9th of March. Yes. As you can see here, also you see the link like to get the tickets, of course. Um, in a nutshell, what would you say for everyone considering visiting? What can I expect as a visitor? What will I get out of the ITB Berlin this year? Out of ITB? Well, that's, uh, you will see um, full halls. I hope so. You will see one new hall. We're going to have Hall 27, which you've probably never seen before. It's uh, 10,000 square meters. So I would all recommend visiting Hall 27. Um, you're going to see hopefully more buyers than ever because that's what we were overwhelmed of. We had more buyer circle registrations than ever before. So um, full venue, full booth. I hope so. Very good parties. So that's what the other side of ITB is, good networking parties um, at the end of the show. And as I said before, lots of networking business, seeing everybody again, you know, hugging maybe also you will expect that because you haven't seen your, your boost number you might have for years, you're seeing him again. So that, that's what I'm actually looking very much forward. And I hope, um, yeah, and I hope everybody else too. Yeah, I, I can imagine for sure. And also I talked to a couple of people who are really sad. Okay, great that finally ITB is back. I can yeah. see some people again in person. Um, so we are very much looking forward. And could you maybe also like as a final topic, share a few more words on the industry for tours, activities, attractions. So the majority of yeah. our, our participants today at Experiences Connect, um, what can they expect? How is their industry represented this year at ITB? It, it's, as you mentioned earlier, um, it's going to be represented as marketplace in Hall 4.1, where also booking kit is, is part of. Um, so that's that's where the exhibitors are. And right beside, we do have a convention stage. It's in Hall 6.1. The overall motto is mastering transformation because that's what we all need to do. That's where also the convention program um, of the tourist attraction and activities forum will focus on. Um, and um, yeah, we are very much looking forward to that. We're going to hear, I think we already heard from Douglas today. He will be again on stage. So looking forward to set that. Get Your Guide will be around. So um, all, all, the, all the good partners will be on stage. So, um, and that's going to be on the 8th of March, starting in the afternoon. Great. Thank you. We're looking forward. So do we. Uh, and yeah, now over to, to Georgia and uh, booking kits. Great being here with, uh, with Georgia. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you very much, Sabine, for these, for these insights. And obviously, yeah. this is the experiences connect and ITB is a great chance to connect again. So everyone who has the chance to join ITB, I think it's, uh, it's a great opportunity. Feel free to drop by our booth, obviously. And yeah. um, we're looking forward also for some personal exchange there. All right. Thank you. Um, then we will dive into the session for um, the connected region and what DMOs can do and what also you can do as an operator and um, to connect with your region. And so we are putting up the, the slides now. Um, and I see the poll which has been uh, answered by you. And basically 30% are saying I'm currently not at all working with my um, destination marketing organization. So maybe to start off very easily, what actually is a DMO, uh, which we have in the headline of the session here. So a DMO is a destination marketing organization. So their job basically is to make sure that the destination that you are in um, is represented and that people know about it, that it works also very well, that players in this region are connected. Uh, so basically everything that has to be thought about from a tourism standpoint for the destination, which could be the city, which could also be like the larger region you're in, um, has to be thought of. And usually 
They all have like websites, right? Some of them have tourist informations on site where tourists who get there can inform themselves, what can I do here? What can, what can I do when? And so on. So in a nutshell, I would say very much simplified, I guess, that's a DMO. Um, and what we basically at Booking Kit identified already quite some years ago um, is that for our, for our segment, for tours, activities, attractions, that is so valuable. And that there are these organizations on site which actually boost tourism and also help tourists to find the best things to do to have the greatest experience possible um, in their region. So already um, well, like six years ago in 2017, we started working directly with some um, DMOs together in order to make sure that the region is represented well online, that the region gets more digitized and just the tourists um, learn about all the great experiences and have a very good time when they are on site. How are we doing that? Um, basically, one element is actually that many DMOs, many regions have run digitization workshops together with us, with operators of tours and attractions to um, like bring to them what they can do um, to have a great customer experience to, um, to approach many, uh, many potential guests. So all the topics which we have talked about today, um, plus to make sure that also the tourist information or the DMO website get access and can actually also market the experiences which you can find in the destination. So all the different tours and museums and so on, um, wouldn't it be great if actually the DMO could sell them online and offline um, in this way support our customers and support the, the tourism industry. And we're doing this for quite some years now um, with different kinds of methods. If you are interested, there are more in detail, obviously, um, just let us know. Um, one important element is that if we are talking about destination and also let's say you are now a museum director, a tour operator, for example, who is, who is hearing this, um, the destination is, of course, not only the DMO, so this entity who could sell you and help you on marketing, but also you have all this ecosystem on site. So you have hotels. Yeah? Hotels have many guests who like to experience something. They like to have very nice beds to sleep in, but that's not why they're getting to the destination. They're getting to experience great stuff. And you have other operators of tours, activities, attractions um, who have guests. And then these guests usually don't only do one experience, but they want to do multiple experience. They want to really discover the whole variety of this region. So also with these players, you could work with. Plus, there are also local stores and any kind of local entity that gets in touch with tourists or in general with like potential customers for your, uh, of, of, of yours. And um, make sure if you think about your destination to think about all these players um, and make up your mind, hey, can I actually create some connections there, some relationships uh, so that actually um, they can help me generate more business and help tourists just find my experience, which I'm running. Um, this already existed for many for many years, I would say, in the destinations that there were relationships between tours and hotels, for example. Um, what we are also doing as a technology provider is to technologically support that connection. And um, so thanks to one tool we are offering, any player, also if it's a hotel, for example, gets direct access to your availabilities and your experiences, can sell them, could earn a commission and so on. So to actually technologically support all of that with a very simple tool, um, Booking Kit is also um, helping you here. And in the end, what we want to achieve is that regions and destinations really get connected and also hear that the end customer, the tourist, has a great experience and gets to know all of that stuff very flawlessly. Yeah, and one of our... Um, like regions we are working with is the region uh, in the southern part of Germany, like the Stuttgart region, um, who uh, uh, yeah, like had good experience with us and working with us. And we really managed to achieve a lot of great results in terms of digitizing the tours and activities industry there, um, connecting all of the different players. Uh, and in this case, also the own tours, which they are running. And um, we are um, 
yeah, we are basically technologically supporting here. Um, we now dive into uh, Georgia, um, and I'm glad that we have Tamuna with us, um, who can share a lot about Georgia itself, but also about Georgia as a country, so like the biggest possible entity, like when you think about destinations, um, what they are doing to support this digitization in our industry. Thank you. Uh, once again, it's a great opportunity to share our approaches, to give you more information about Georgia, and at the end to, uh, to discuss the different ideas as well. Um, as it was mentioned uh, before, uh, we're the host country, the partner country of ITB this year, which is a great um, honor for us, as well it's a great uh, responsibility. We will do our best to uh, share uh, all the Georgian hospitality and we are presented in Berlin with a um, main concept, it's infinite hospitality. With this, uh, I would like to start the presentation with this sentence, and um, I want to believe that more of um, our participants had the link with Georgia, business link, uh, link with the friends, uh, with the uh, tourism, and we hope to uh, to have a more connections, more business to business or business uh, people to people relations with the world. Uh, Georgia, you know, it's a, a really small country between Asia and Europe. And uh, during the recent years, we put a lot of efforts together with private sector and with the government to be the really attractive tourism destination, to attract more uh, people from around the world, and at the same time to share uh, our traditions, our culture, and as well as the diverse tourism products that we have. Um, and uh, the organization I represent, it's not a DMO, it's, uh, uh, we, we, we have um, um, options of the uh, organization that promotes uh, the country, but we are the part of the Ministry of Economy, and mostly um, we um, introduce and elaborate the different strategies uh, to develop the tourism in a sustainable way and to get more income uh, to the economy of the country at the same time to create the new opportunities for uh, job creation, to promote the regions, uh, to promote the new tourism products and for sure to attract the investments. Uh, if we will uh, discuss the figures before the pandemic, which is quite uh, interesting to see, you know, that our population is 3.5 million people. And before the pandemic, we hosted three times more international visitors than uh, our population, which is a quite impressive uh, result. And we are really proud of it that it's uh, linked with the income, which is quite uh, important for the population and for the industry itself. And um, it's a very uh, good and dynamic result that during the previous year, uh, despite of the um, of financial uh, crisis or the uh, sit uh, conflict situation in the region, we tried our best together with the private sector and with the international partners and recovered uh, our results. It's up to 70 uh, percent in terms of international visitors and what, uh, what is more important that it's uh, gross uh, compared to the you know, pre-pandemic level in terms of the income. It's the gross, it's more than 8 percent. So now we have a quite a positive expectations for this year and for the next year for sure, considering the fact of the ITB when tourism is back on track and um, this fair will give us opportunity uh, from one side to share all the information about the Georgia uh, together with the industry representatives and then to um, to be more attractive uh, at the global scale for the uh, businesses and for the people who want to visit Georgia and to discover the new uh, destination. Uh, I, I just want to highlight the different reforms and the policies that the government together with private sector uh, introduced uh, during the uh, previous years and we reached the 
quite a good indexes uh, in a, a global uh, platforms. You can see uh, on this slide. Uh, and if we would talk about the digitalization, one of the main was to introduce a liberal, liberal visa policy. Um, up to um, 100 countries representatives, the resident permit holders or the nationals can apply via the visa portal, which is quite uh, effective tool to travel now. And uh, you will agree that when we see that we have the visa um, uh, visa uh, requirements or COVID requirements for uh, traveling, it makes uh, um, uh, it makes uh, our next journey more difficult. So we have a quite a, uh, liberal and easy visa procedures. And as well, we introduce the new products, uh, which can be uh, the new for the market, for the European market, or for the uh, markets coming from the Middle East or from Asia or Americas as well. Um, for uh, to sustain our um, vision, uh, we elaborated the strategy, and it means that we you know, prioritize the quality over the quantity. We all understand that to host a lot of tourists is a quite a good, but uh, we need to have a good results as well in terms of uh, environment uh, protection, the climate changes of the, uh, as well as the income of the local population. Uh, we um, underlined the most important topics for us, which is um, high quality custom services, uh, diverse tourism products, uh, diversification of the markets, as well as the introduction of uh, new initiatives and digital transformation, which is quite um, new uh, and it's quite important after the pandemic when we have different gadgets in our pocket and now we can uh, plan and start uh, our next holidays uh, in a five minutes. So uh, it, uh, it is uh, one of the best tools to promote your country, to promote uh, the private sector and different products and services uh, via uh, different apps and via different um, platforms. Uh, in, in this term, together with our colleagues from the different governmental entities, we support uh, uh, capacity building activities and trainings free of charge for the representatives of the sector, uh, which are aimed to upskill the employees and to give them the new knowledges and new opportunities to run their businesses. It can be the theoretical part or practical, um, and uh, as well to uh, introduce in different new campaigns together with uh, um, well-known platforms such as MasterCard or Visa uh, or the Google as well. Uh, and we started um, in our country the digital campaigns uh, to, uh, to pin on the global map the Georgian um, enterprises and the uh, businesses to make it more attractive with the different um, uh, multimedia information or uh, direct contacts from uh, from the uh, enterprises as well. As well, we uh, have a good uh, partnership with UNWTO and the UNWTO Academy. Uh, I would suggest to the participants to check the UNWTO Academy uh, website uh, and where you can find the different um, trainings, short term or long term, and as well uh, of any country or any uh, tourism um, stakeholder can use it and to share with um, its um, uh, partners as well. Now we are working very uh, closely with the MasterCard and with the Visa, as you all know, the big data, the more information is uh, quite useful and valuable now to start the campaign, to attract the visitors, to attract the businesses, to analyze the data and uh, to save the money for sure. Um, and we, we know that to make a very efficient campaign, you need to invest a lot of money and when we represent the governmental entity. So it's, uh, it's a priority to, uh, to have um, more income and to invest uh, in a smart way. Uh, just to share the update about the uh, 
web page that we uh, will uh, launch in a two weeks. It's a, it will be the main um, web portal of Georgia in terms of travel uh, with all the information about the different services, different destinations within the country, uh, about all the private sector, different locations, cultural, natural, for a mice tourism, for a adventure lovers or for um, uh, gastronomy as well. We will have a um, direct link with uh, uh, tour operators, with uh, hotels, restaurants, uh, guides, uh, and DMOs as well. Uh, we're trying our best um, to support the DMOs uh, together with the international organizations to make them uh, create the new competitive and sustainable uh, services and products in the different regions of Georgia. So we will have the new portal uh, in two weeks before the ITB, which we hope that uh, in a future years will uh, support and boost uh, relations between the business and people and business to business as well. Uh, as I mentioned before, we have a good cooperation with the different international uh, platforms and one of them is a Google. Uh, during the uh, years of the pandemic, uh, despite of the different challenges, we introduced a joint uh, partnership and um, supported the digitalization of uh, Georgian uh, cities, of Georgian villages and uh, different regions, as we understood that people want to get some new experiences and the new products linked with uh, agritourism, ecotourism, and to visit different uh, undiscovered areas, uh, which our country had a lot. Uh, we uh, digitalize the different uh, little uh, small hostels, uh, small restaurants, cafes uh, in the mountain areas, uh, in the remote areas of our country, and we reached a very good results. Uh, the businesses um, understood how to manage uh, their web pages or their uh, pages linked with the Google as well, which is a quite a good tool because now we use Google to get the information not about the um, route, how to reach uh, the hotel on, uh, or uh, where to find the uh, new restaurant, but we get the information which uh, were shared uh, by people, by travelers, um, locals or internationals, and we trust this information for sure because uh, we trust more uh, the, uh, the simple tools and the ordinary per uh, persons rather than the um, highlights from uh, different magazines or different um, press media. And at the end, I just want to summarize the government efforts. Uh, which are aimed to support um, uh, support the local businesses uh, to uh, to digitalize their services and to promote their products and to be more resilient and to be more competitive in this global world of um, uh, tourism industry. Uh, we introduce the different um, subsidies and the grants together with the financial uh, institutions and the bank, banks of Georgia. Um, we support the businesses with different consultings with uh, um, local or international experts to support them to uh, start the business plan, to promote, um, uh, to promote their services and to start the um, marketing campaigns um, within the Georgia or at the international um, scale. As well, we promote, um, promote uh, we introduce the grants to start and establish uh, different uh, apps and the startups as well. Uh, and we hope that uh, the results of these different initiatives will be quite impressive and will get the new opportunities and uh, sustainable growth uh, to the sector representatives. And at the end, I hope that uh, the participants of this uh, event will have the chance to visit the uh, stand of Georgia, which will, which will be full of different activities. Business to business, we will have up more than 80 
um, you know, business sector representatives, so you will have uh, you will have the chance to exchange the contacts to make the networking as well. We will have the different cultural uh, gastronomy events um, uh, and uh, hope to uh, see you all during the March in Berlin uh, as well. We can share with you the contact, uh, contact information uh, of me or my colleagues if you will have the additional questions. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Tamuna, for sharing all of these insights. And I can only stress that I heard or saw that you have like a really big presence at the ITB uh, this year. And um, for sure, I will drop by. Um, there are already a couple of questions. Um, everyone who hasn't raised a question yet, I just want to encourage you. We still have uh, 10 minutes time or a bit more even for to go through questions. So please just use the chat, ask your questions there. Um, I have one question actually, and also one one thing I wanted to I wanted to say uh, about your new uh, portal that you have set up. Um, I think. That is really a, 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 a piece of art um, that many destinations uh, can, can use as inspiration um, for how to do it because some of you have probably already attended these sessions earlier on the customer journey, on the typical touristic journey. And I think especially for the first two phases of dreaming, this really helps you to dream, to explore itineraries, to explore what the country can offer but then also for planning, uh, so for this more concrete phase, I think that Newport really helps um, helps tourists there to give some to get some orientation. Um, so I like it very much. Um, one question connected to it: um, How did you actually come up with that Newport? Like how was the process? How did you also set up the, uh, the network needed for that? All the content, maybe you can share in one or two minutes just a couple of uh, of steps. Uh, how long it took, and just some insights and some destinations uh, who might take some inspiration from it can also learn from. Uh, with pleasure. So it's a quite a hard uh, working uh, team that we united from uh, the GNTA uh, together with the international experts and the local uh, um, companies. Uh, first of all, uh, we realized that we need to upgrade the website uh, it, it was launched like 10 or 15 years ago and you know everything changed uh, not just uh, the businesses are more developed but the people need more experiences and the new information and all about the uh, destinations that the country can share during the pandemic uh, it was a quite a good time to start actions to um, renew the portal uh, and we uh, started uh, the process like two years ago. First of all, we um, uh, made a research uh, of a different international practices and experiences that different well-developed uh, destinations use. For example, I don't know, um, New York, uh, Australia, the New Zealand, a lot of European countries. And uh, it was a huge document uh, to read. Uh, to see uh, where is the weaknesses, where is the new opportunities, uh, what can Georgia offer to the world. And then we um, move, uh, move um, it to the Georgian reality, uh, that what products we have, why uh, anyone should visit Georgia, uh, what is the behavior of the tourists or potential visitors of the businesses, what they need to know, uh, what they want to visit, what services should be highlighted. And then we uh, made a quite a good uh, TOR for the company. Uh, and then the long and very, very difficult process started with uh, different IT companies, with the developers uh, to make a content, which is quite important to uh, make it really easy to uh, use. Uh, not just uh, via computer, but via the mobile phones um, to get the answers to all the questions, to make a different articles, to uh, integrate the map and to give to the potential uh, user uh, very uh, easy, comfortable 
um, interface uh, where he or she can um, start the journey to share uh, own experiences and to save the information for the future uh, holidays as well and to give them the tool to um, review uh, the destination and as well to review the uh, industry. I mean, the different hotels or restaurants or some um, services that we can offer. Thanks. Thanks for sharing. I can imagine that was a, a long and yeah, complex uh, and Still ongoing, project, but we sure. hope that uh, uh, all the details will be finished like in 10 or uh, 10 days, mostly, or two weeks. Fingers crossed for the launch. Fingers crossed. And I also like like how really experiences are put pretty much like in the center and mm -hmm. like also very concretely people can learn what the experiences are. <clears throat> we, we just afterwards have a session uh, that goes into the, that direction, like how experiences are more and more becoming the center also of of interest um, of of tourists, so uh, that that fits very well. Um, thanks. And um, there is one question here which we got um, from Mariana, which is if you could share more about how Georgia leverages digital channels um, to reach tourists. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I will share with you information about what we as the uh, tourism administration do. We have a different large scale campaigns uh, with the different portals and platforms uh, like a Bloomberg, CNN, uh, National Geographic, uh, and many more. Uh, as well, we have uh, different um, influence marketing, meaning that we host uh, press media uh, representatives, the influencers, the content makers. We share uh, with them the information. We uh, host them in a different parts of the country. It depends on their interests. Uh, if you are the um, journalist working on a gastronomy or adventure tourism, or you are mostly interested in the mice tourism, uh, as well, we um, we have a collaboration with our partner countries, uh, and uh, mostly it's all about the bar marketing. Uh, you need to uh, analyze the good uh, campaign. Uh, who, at, who to attract, and as I, as I mentioned about the big data. So we, firstly, we um, understand the target, uh, the uh, existence of the direct flights, the awareness about the Georgia in this country, and then we uh, start the campaign uh, with a different um, press platforms and then share the information about the most attractive products uh, of Georgia for this country and the, for the population of this country. And this for sure, we are um, re really actively participate in different fairs and expos. Understood. Thank you very much. And um, there's one more question from um, Karina. You touched on the topic, I would say, but maybe you could expand even more on it. And the question is, how does technology, um, how does it play part in you, in reaching your visions, um, which you have? And how concretely do you drive digital transformation in, in Georgia? Okay. Um, actually, we have a really big investment and funds coming from the government which um, are oriented to support digital transformation, uh, transformation not only in the tourism sector, but it's all about the different services that we can offer to the population and the, to the businesses, starting from the Ministry of Justice. Uh, with, uh, in Georgia, you can open the new business like in one a day. It's not a, a long process that you need to apply to the different institutions, to the different entities. If you are the foreigner or the local uh, company, you're just visiting the uh, public house and uh, start your business, even in a tourist, in one day. Uh, it's a quite a good uh, support uh, of the industry, you know, when, when you have no additional problems to deal with the governmental entities. Then we uh, support the startups and Georgia uh, step by step is the hub for uh, different 
projects and the different innovative tools and uh, uh, innovative platforms to work and to live as well. We have a lot of nomads who uh, came to Georgia during the pandemic and they feel I hope so, very comfortable because they can enjoy the internet, they can enjoy the different services and as well to travel around the country. As well, we uh, support the uh, private sector with the um, free of charge training programs, not, uh, not just giving them that theoretical information, but giving them a real support, uh, practical support, how to start the business, how to um, manage your web page, how to manage your bookings, how to sell your products as well. And uh, the programs are long term, meaning that we have some uh, different um, you know, contact points in the different regions. And then we uh, systematically support them with, uh, with the services. And now we have a quite a big uh, project with the World Bank. Uh, and we will launch it this year. Uh, that is meaning that we will have the consulting. We will have um, um, quite a uh, big grants for, uh, for the businesses to make uh, everything digital. And we have uh, good results in terms of touchless uh, paying, uh, paying um, um, system with a Visa and MasterCard, one of the leading in uh, Europe. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's a top three we have, um, which is quite supportive for the different villages and the regions uh, in Georgia. Every traveler can pay, uh, can, can pay for their uh, needs uh, without cash. And uh, the local uh, enterprises get more knowledge and more experiences and practical tools about uh, how to promote um, their products. So everything is interconnected from the part of the government as well with the support of the uh, big companies and financial institutions in Georgia. Yeah, I can see many, many initiatives to support uh, the uh, the local tourism and also digitization. That's that's great to hear. Um, yeah, Tamuna, thank you very much for presenting all of that. Thank you. Um, and as I said, everyone who has the chance, first participate at the ITB Berlin, uh, drop by at the booth of Georgia and explore all of the uh, also culinary experiences they're offering there. Uh, drop by our booking booth. And to close off the session, um, um, basically we, we said at the beginning that half of the participants here that they are currently working with the team already. Someone I think needs to mute themselves. There's one, one echo. Yeah, now it works well. Perfect. Thanks. <laughs> um, but half of them of the participants here are already working with the DMO. So hopefully we could give you a couple of more ideas what a destination or maybe uh, even like the, the country in the case of, of Georgia can, can do to support your business. Um, think about all the different players which you have in your destination. And um, I guess it makes sense for everyone to just connect with the local DMO to understand what they could do, what you to go, could do together. Um, and um, as I said, also important part, how is technology supporting all of that um, on that side, of course, we are very much focused on. All right. Um, this closes the session. And there is a 15-minute break, as I just see, before we dive into the final session of today. The final session of today, I will be joined with, with um, Martin, and the CSO of Tickets, um, who many of you will know as an important player in our in our industry, especially for especially for attractions, of course. Um, and Groupon is joining us. Groupon, many people here do know, of course. Um, but Groupon also has a very fresh approach in this market, and um, so they will share more here. And our at our experiences connect. So stay tuned. You don't have to change any link or so. Just stay in this link, and in 15 minutes the next and also final session for today is starting. And with that, thanks again um, very much to Sabine and to Tamuna for joining us. And good luck for the ITB. Good luck 
also for the launch of the new portal. <laughs> Thank you. See you there.